Hi, uh, this is Dylan Brady. I wanted to share a tutorial on how to create hair physics in Unreal 4 using a proxy hair mesh to drive a more complex hair mesh. So this is it, final working in Unreal, and this tutorial is going to show you how to set this up from the, the early stages to completion. So here we go. Um, to start off I'm going to show you how it's set up in 3ds Max. Um, here we have the character and the skeleton and this is the hair mesh so here is the hair geometry and as you can see it's composed of lots of little planes that are when set to transparent combined together to look like individual hair strands um, this is a pretty common setup for doing hair in games so um, the other thing that you need to build is a hair simulation mesh and what this is going to do is it goes um, over the hair and it looks more like a flat plane so it's not as complicated and as rough as the other the other hair mesh and you want to try to keep this as, as one solid piece or maybe one piece for each of the main shapes of the hair um, and you want to keep it pretty light on topology so much more than this would, would probably be uh, more than you need because it's it actually it looks better when you you have a uh, lower poly count um, and so you want to have both this and the regular hair skinned to the skeletal mesh so that when we're not using hair it it still moves with any animations you place on the character and so with now that we've seen how that's set up I'm going to export this to an FBX format and and I'm going to start with a new file since so we can see the process from beginning to end so we're going to go import we're going to import the FBX that we just exported um, I'm going to use make a new skeleton I'm not going to create a physics uh, asset because I'm going to use one I've already created I will show you how that is set up and let's go ahead and import. Okay. So this is how it comes in with no materials on it yet. Just real quick, I'm going to go ahead and put the materials on this that I have. anything for those. So this I have a just rough real simple basic hair material. Okay there we go. Now I'm going to show you what the physics asset looks like. Create and assign. I'm going to create a new physics asset and we want this physics asset to very it's very important that this physics asset closely resembles the shape of the head underneath the hair we want it to not penetrate too deep into the mesh and we want to have most of the large forms of the head represented 
So you just keep on going in and adding capsules until we're happy. Uh, I'm going to create something for the shoulders here. Um, I'm going to create now a capsule for the neck. I think we want one more for the back of the head. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and save this. And we're going to go back to our skeletal mesh. So now that we're back here in our skeletal mesh view, we want to make sure that section selection is on. And click on our complex here right click and click on create clothing data from selection now that we have done that we want to go to our proxy mesh and go create clothing lod from selection from section where we are replacing lot zero and we want to check both remap parameters and remove from mesh and uh, when we do that it now deletes the proxy mesh from the, being visible um, and so now we go over to uh, the clothing tab which if you don't have that open just go to window and click on clothing and we have our clothing data here and if we click on activate cloth paint we now see that the actual clothing data that we're painting on is our proxy mesh so if we scroll down here we have some um, brush controls and I'm going to just real quickly paint in the max distance for this here. Um, now what I usually do is I paint in whatever my maximum value that I want at the bottom and once I get it across the whole area go over to smooth and then just start applying smooth over the whole surface um, uh, it, and that looks pretty good it's gone almost to the top of the hair all I just want to do is bring a little bit more in here so I'm going to take the strength down to very low and maybe the brush size down to one and just uh, paint a little bit there. There we go. Okay. So that, I, I think I'm going to be happy with that paint job. And now if I go to deactivate cloth paint, 
we can go here to our uh, regular view, right click on our main hair geometry and hit apply clothing data and now we have a functioning Um, yeah, there we go. We have, uh, our hair physics is working now. Um, and because we set up our physics asset, it correctly collides with the, the geometry we created. Um, if we go here up to character, under clothing you have sliders for wind strength and gravity scale so you can mess around with testing out different uh, settings for wind strength and then uh, sometimes if I need to check it with an animation you go up here to the preview scene and use a test animation and I can also set the time to very slow. So there you go. There's a very quick tutorial for setting up hair physics in Unreal. Thank you.